for But you are the love of my life I knew when you came through the door That you are the love of my life Welcome to a cozy homeschool day in the life. As you saw, the kids were outside with my husband and they were shoveling and kind of playing in the snow. And I was inside making breakfast. If I'm not ready to get started, I'll have them work on something independently, as you see Cameron here. homeschool day in the life I am here with my babies everybody is getting started we're gonna eat breakfast at the table um, and our dogs are here my husband is here he's making his smoothie I have my wonderful coffee we are all working on a little bit of independent work because we were outside or they were all outside playing in the snow and I was just like getting some breakfast cooked and preparing for the day so when they came in I was still cooking breakfast so everybody is just working on their own thing and then we will sit down we will do Bible and our devotional and then everybody's gonna get started right now Cameron's working on physics Jace is working on handwriting and Savannah was the last one to come in so she's getting herself ready and then we're gonna have breakfast so that's nothing's hard everything is easy with you every kind of living creature on earth so god said to know the brain bowl in my is my sign of covenant yeah just a little bit but i'm talking about the whole world at the same time god said i promise i will never do that again and my promise to you is by showing you reminders throughout your days throughout the months the weeks the years every day is by showing you rainbows random rainbows random times different places i am I'm happy, happy with what i have i am I dependable. dependable you can you count, count on me, me. i can persevere with god down. i can do anything, anything. i am I'm patient around. no bombas everything is easy Into temptation, into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us from, evil, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, the power and the glory, forever, forever, and ever, and ever. Amen. Amen. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second. First and second chronicles. All right, you're gonna add to yours now. Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job. Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Very good, Savvy. Go. Can I myself? Yes. P put your put your put your vitamin down. Go ahead, start. Genesis. Genesis. What's next? Exodus. Leviticus. Good job. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Let's stop doing that. Numbers. Numbers, Deuteronomy. Joshua, Judges, Ruth. First and Second Samuel. First and Second Kings. First and Second Chronicles. Ezra, Nehemiah. 
Esther, Joe. And your last one. Swan. Songs. <laughs> On day five, he created fish and birds. On day six, he created. All right, so right now we are making bookmarks because we need them. Jace is putting stickers on his. Savannah's doing her little Hatchimal stickers. And then Cameron is working on, what is that? Logic. On Logic. And so that's where we stand right now. Once he's done with Logic, then he has his Bible curriculum that he has to do. And he has math and I can't remember. Oh, and um, English, ELA. All right, so these two are getting started on their independent work. Cameron didn't want to sit there, so he's sitting here. This calendar? Yes, that calendar. They're doing their calendars, and then they're going to start calendar. on their independent work. So that is what we have going on here. Jace did his handwriting without tears. So I'm going to put that away. And then, Jace, get over here, please. And then he's going to go ahead and do his flashcards, calendar, and then he has to read um, read out loud. So I'll go grab his book to read out loud. So if you're new here, um, my husband and I have three kids. We have a 14 year old. Our daughter is five and our son is six and they just turned five and six within the past two weeks. And so my goal with them is to try to make them as independent as possible while teaching and focusing on all of the basics that they need right now. I feel like this time right now is the most important in their learning um, or their education journey because if you can teach your kids how to learn independently, they can learn anything. And so I really, really focus on the basics, on grammar, on writing, on phonics, and all of those things. My teenager is in eighth grade, and so, um, of course, his work is a bit more advanced. However, we still take the same approach. So teaching him how to work independently, how to research things properly, those are all my goals. So if you are new, welcome. I'm happy that you're here. I do hope that you stick around and subscribe and look forward to more homeschooling videos like this. Okay, so right now the kids are doing some reading. My daughter, she is not at the level to where she's reading yet, but she is working on some handwriting. Sometimes I have her do a puzzle or play independently while everyone else is doing their silent reading. I go ahead and check off chores off of my list, mostly laundry. So everyone has their day of laundry in our house. And so this was my daughter's day. And what I was doing for her was what I do each week, whenever it's laundry day for that person, I try to reset their spaces. They're responsible for upkeeping and maintaining their room, but I do inspect what I expect from each kid. That is very big and very important to me. But I try not to go in her room and remake her bed unless it's you know my day to reset her space and I need to wash her sheets and pillowcases and all of that because this is a learning process for them. And as they grow, and as they learn more, they will grow stronger and perfect each of their life skills. So this is a life skill that she's responsible for taking care of every day, maintaining her space, keeping it clean. And they're always happy whenever mommy goes in and she resets their room and reminds them of how things should be. So I try to lead by example by making sure that my room is clean, my bed is made so that they're reminded that they need to go in and take care of their spaces on their own.
Cameron is working on his math. I am going to make these. This will be our first time having this organic mac and cheese from Annie's. So, hope it's good. I'm going to cook two boxes of that. And then we're actually going to go to the gym. So, that's what I have going on right now. My yeah. husband is going to take the kids to the gym without me. So, that means that I get to stay home by myself with the dogs. And I get to do whatever I want to do. And so I'm trying to decide. I'm so happy, y'all. I'm so happy. I'm trying to figure out, do I take a nap, catch up on YouTube, clean up, or edit this vlog? What do I do? I don't know what to do. I just sit on the couch, so maybe I'm going to take a nap. I think I'm going to set my timer, try to take a nap. I don't have any plans for dinner, so I'm going to have to pull out something for dinner before I take my nap. But I think that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay here on the couch, curl up take a nap and enjoy this moment i want to go get back in my bed but i'm not getting in my bed i'm forcing myself to stay here can you let Layla in please thank you so that means i'm gonna end this here i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us for a day in the life of a homeschooling mom of three babies i shouldn't say babies because my son is 14 but he's still my baby so i hope you enjoyed a day in the life of a mom of three and until next time, take care and have a beautiful day. Bye, friends.